Okay, point of this video is comparing a 2024 F-150 Lariat to the 2023 outgoing year of the F-150 Lariat. There's been a lot of people saying that there's huge price increases in 2024. I've looked at multiple vehicles and multiple uh, trim platforms, and I'm not seeing a big difference. This is $67,635. And for 2023, if we go and select all the options, because that's what's important. If you see the 2.7 liter, and the four-wheel drive is not selected automatically in 2023, whereas in 2024 it is. So we need to compare apples to apples. Upgrade the motor to the 5.0. I uh, see the price increase. Now I want to make sure we add the four-wheel drive, which bumps the price a little bit more on the 2023. Same color. I'm not selecting any trim, interior packages, technology. This is just base base numbers, MSRP. So now we look at this, here's a 2023, $65,275. Now let's compare this now. That shows the 5.0, four-wheel drive, 10-speed, non-electric um, locking rear diff. Now here's the 2024, and we are at $67,635. So it's about $2,000 more, or about 4% more when you look at the, the scale of price increase in, in one calendar year. Is, does anybody want to see a price increase? No, of course not. But eggs also go up. Milk is going up. Everything we're buying is going up. Inflationary cost pressures. It's just, unfortunately, the world we live in today. But I kind of show now, let's look if we jump to the 3.5 liter. This is where you start seeing a little bit of differences in strategy between 2023 and 2024. They, they, they kind of do it a little differently. So I want to say it's about what Two three hundred dollars more for the three point five liter EcoBoost over the five O in twenty twenty three, and we will now compare this to twenty twenty four. Look at that! It's a two hundred ninety dollar premium. It's almost the same. So whether you go five O or three five, it's pretty similar. Um, I'm not going to go through just because this is a short video. I just wanted to kind of just compare um, some of the differences from you know, pricing, but it's like $2,400 more. So you're less than 5%. When you look at it as $2,700, yeah, it's a lot of money. But when you look at the grand scale of things, it's not that far off. So I think it's important for people to do a little bit of homework and try to understand what the options are for 2024. And make sure you're getting your best bang for your buck. But I think in 2024, if we look at the demand in the market, who knows how the, the UAW strike will impact things, but I bet you you'll end up being pretty similar pricing by the time rebates and incentives come back and, and whatnot for 2024 calendar year. So anyhow, I hope you find this video helpful. I'm trying to compare a bunch of um, 2023 to 2024 model year vehicles so people can see the impacts of pricing and some of the options and technology where you can kind of see the changes. There's a lot of changes made in 2024 on the new F-Series. I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching.